Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. When we last left off, we had our first face-off with Mr. X. Um, let's go and uh, use our blue card so we can start opening some doors. Now, I always thought that the Matilda was a very strange choice for Leon. Because it is the HK... Uh, I can't remember what's going on. The VP70, I believe. Actually, it might tell us here. Yeah, the VP70 manufactured by HK Germany. Now, this is actually a very old gun. This is uh, this was made in 1973. And what's interesting about it is even in real life, like the real um, version of this weapon, um, you need the stock because the stock has the select fire mechanism, which turns it into a three round automatic uh, well, semi-automatic, really. Um, machine pistol. And... That's interesting, because it was only on the military versions of that gun that was compatible with the stock, the civilian model. Which I'm assuming a police officer would have, and it certainly wouldn't be standard issue, so this must be Leon's, like, choice weapon. Um... The civilian model doesn't have that capability because it doesn't have the uh, mechanism for it. So I always thought that was, that was kind of strange that Leon has a military pistol. But quite a cool one as well. I might add. It's kind of better than... Uh... Oh, I don't know about better, but it's more interesting than Claire's rather generic um, Browning high power that she has. Anyway, let's go use our card so we can open some freaking doors up. We are going to want to go you. You don't need to use this right now. Uh, yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Also, as much as I like the soundtrack in the original game, uh, <laughs> I said it again, in the remake, Man, do I prefer the soundtrack in the original. Like this ambience here for the... Uh, this ambience here for the... Um, like, police station is amazing. It's so good. Right, we're going to start off by going through here, I think. Now we have uh, some more options. But wait, we have zombies in the save room, which is so weird. Oh, you sneaky little turd. Was there any need for that? We're going to be really injured now. Come on, I know there's more of you in here. Don't be shy now. Line them up, Leon. Take no prisoners. Yeah, and the 18-round magazine as well is crazy for this gun. But, of course, they needed the high capacity for the uh, auto-fire mode. Obviously, you have a rapid-fire weapon. You need a large magazine. Because even with 18 rounds, if you think about it, 18, that's still only six uh, pulls of the trigger. Which is pretty mad when you think about it. Right, uh, police memorandum. That's exactly the same as the original one. We've already read that. No point reading the same documents again. Uh, we do... We can open that with a small key, actually. So let's do that. I can't remember what's in here, to be honest. I... Th it's either a first aid spray or it's shotgun shells. I'd rather shotgun shells, if I'm being honest. Yeah, shotgun shells. Lovely, because we want shotgun shells. We're not going to use them. Well, <laughs> we are going to use them, maybe. But we're not going to use them yet, is what I should be saying, too. Um, bundle those together. We've got 14 shotgun shells. Well, we actually have 19, because we've got five on us in our gun. Excellent. Right, let's move, baby. Let's move. Oh, wait. We need the key. Stupid. I'm a stupid ass. 
No point going down this corridor if we're not going to take the key. Even if... Uh, <sighs> there isn't really much in this room, to be 100% honest with you. I don't even... try to think, actually, if there's a key item in this room that we're going to. In the liquor corridor. I don't think there is. I think there's some handgun bullets. I mean, handgun bullets are nice. Of course they're nice. Everybody loves hanger bullets. Right. Yeah, I know, your head is missing. Seems to have been twisted off. I don't know what would have twisted his head off, to be fair. I don't think a liquor would twist somebody's head off. Might pierce you, or slash you to pieces, but... Actually, like, twist your head off? I don't think so. Yeah, we got the patrol report. Um, oh, I'm trying to think. Now, in the original, uh, in the uh, standard uh, first run, oh, it's a first aid spray here. Really? It's got to be more than a first aid spray in here. Like, I mean, a first aid spray, that's point. Gotta be more than a first aid spray. I don't want to waste my inventory with a freaking first aid spray. Uh, that says something this side, but there really isn't. Hmm. No bullets? Huh. How strange. Alright, well, I guess... Oh, and an ink ribbon. Go on. I guess we will have the ink ribbon. Okay, that's kind of disappointing. I thought, I thought there was bullets in there. For the handgun. Because that's something we're going to need a hell... Ooh, hell of a lot of before this is over. We are going to take that. I don't really want to use... Yeah, I didn't think that was going to cure us much. I don't think uh, we're going to use any FA sprays because, unlike the remake, uh, it does knock your score down. Which, to be honest, like, there is enough health in this. Hey, zombies! Come to papa! Let's take these bloody zombies down. Really, you little shitbag! Since when could they l fucking jump at you? Like, I know it happened on occasion, but holy shit. He leapt across half the fucking screen. Spidey Zomba. Spidey Zomba? Yeah, Spidey Zomba. That's gonna be the name of this video. Right. Now, let's go grab up some bullets. Operation report, we don't need that. But we do need the gem. I'm going to have both of the gems. Let's use our lighter, because of course Leon starts off with the lighter instead of the lockpick. And the lighter only gets used a couple of times in the game. You use it a little bit in the sewers. And you use it here. And that's it, I think. I think you use it a little bit more in the uh, A game. Oh no, we do use it twice in the police station, actually. We use it, of course, there and a little bit coming up. I remember. I'm sure there's bullets here. I think that was just an A scenario, though. No matter. Now, I hope those zombies are dead, because if you come out here and those zombies aren't dead, they are literally in front of you. Yeah, they're gone. If they're in front of you, you're going to have a bad time, because you don't have enough time to down them. Uh, the only reliable tactic if that happens is to whip out the old shotgun and blast the motherfucker in the face. No zombies here, that's nice. Ooh, more herbs. 
Now, if I eat a herb, am I going to go up to fine? Kind of want to go up to fine. Yes! Okay, cool. Didn't know if that zombie chewing our fucking leg off was going to do irreparable damage to us. Apparently not. Which is good. Allow me to move my microphone a little bit out of the way. Uh, there is some more bullets here, I think. Yes. Just what we wanted. We like bullets in this game. Bullets make us very, very happy boy. Uh, also, some feedback would be nice. Uh, do you prefer it in the original aspect ratio? I know it is a tiny little bit ski whiff, but that is the way my HDMI... Uh, well, my SCART to HDMI upscaler works. I can't really do too much about that. I did try fiddling with it, but I just... <laughs> I just couldn't get it perfect. So it's, it's about as close as I can get. But now I have the template. Whenever we do old games, I can get the uh, correct aspect ratio, which makes me very happy. Um, oh, yeah. we Should we swap to Leon's alt costume? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I don't like his alt costume in this game, but considering we played through with Claire's, why not? And it would be nice to find out whether he actually does fire quicker. Yep. Uh, let's go for... An oh, I forgot there was two. We have, ah yeah, we have Metalhead Leon, which is quite cool. You can see this is, uh, see how he's aiming his gun now? They emulated that. Um, yes. Let's see what the other ones are like. Yeah, it's this outfit that I hated. I really don't like that outfit. I don't know why. I just I'm just not a fan. Uh, we will change our clothes. It's a shame that the old outfits weren't included in the remake. We're gonna go for Metalhead Leon. Yes. Okay. I've seen very few playthroughs actually where they use this outfit. So we're gonna dare to be different. Now, when we upgrade our handgun, I don't. I think that changes the way he holds it. You know, obviously. You can't really hold it with a stock like that. So let's go upstairs. Let's explore the next floor. I'm curious to see if he does fire the gun a little bit faster. Also, Ada's sections in this, in the original, are so much better than the remake. I hated Ada's section in the uh, in the remake. It was horrible. Well, it wasn't the, the, the sections horrible, but it was that gimmick that she used. It was so shit. And it was massively overused. In contrast, um, Sherry's section in the remake was really good. It's kind of how you uh, imagine, really, what what you wanted from uh, playing as a young kid in a Resident Evil kind of scenario. It's very much a hide-and-seek, uh, tense section, and we really got to see a little bit more of Irons and how much of an absolute prick he is. So, yeah, yeah, a Sherry section was really good, but I don't know, Ada's just... <sighs> I don't know. It felt like they just had to come up with something and because she's a spy, they had to give her like a 007 gadget-esque thing. and It just didn't work. I don't want to see this shit in my Resident Evil. To be honest with you. Okay. Right, so we now can go back to the Tyra... What's he called? Tyrannius? I can't remember what that statue's called now. Tyrannius... Zombies! Oh my. Yeah, so we can now get... Yeah, I think he does fire it a little bit faster. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, he does fire it faster, definitely. I thought he did. You getting back up, boy. 
Oh no, we got a crawler. Get down, motherfucker. And you. Yeah, he does fire a lot faster. That's so cool. So there is actually a decent, legit reason for changing characters with Leon. I take it back. I take everything I said back. Almost everything, anyway. Cool. Well, let's go check out the star's office. I do prefer what they did with the star's office. They changed it quite a lot. and uh, Well, not massively, but they changed it. And they did a good job with it, to be honest. Now, uh, Wesker's desk is ha. One, two, three, four. Five, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I was curious about that. I was really curious about that. Because... Everyone says that you have to search that uh, 50 times. And I kept thinking to myself, there's no way it's 50 times. It's not that many, surely. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, I guess it is. That just seems excessively. It never like feels like you're searching it 50 times. That's really interesting. But anyway, we're only in this room for one thing. That's this monster. We're going to be enjoying this. In this playthrough, right, in the B scenario, if you uh, use this weapon correctly and you kill Mr. X, guess how many magnum rounds there are? Bearing in mind, people always say, oh, there's never a lot of ammo, blah, 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 blah. There's almost 80 magnum rounds in this game. It's insane. Like, you have to really go some to use them all up. We're going to be using, like, the shotgun and the magnum fairly liberally. Because, like I say, like, we're not even... We're, this is not an easy, bear in mind. Uh, magnum ammo is everywhere. Now, really, what we could have done is we could have saved... Hey, Sherry. Could have saved the little key to use it here. Hey, wait. And she's gone. But not without dropping something. That's a theme of Sherry's. She is going to keep dropping stuff. Yeah, we're going to take the preset key. And we're going to take the shotgun shells. But, we've now run out of space, which is a huge pain in the ass. Also, you don't... Oh, hello. It's Claire as well. Claire, you made it. Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Yes, boss. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. I like the way that radio appears on it. That way we can keep in touch with the scene. Up. All right, Claire. I will go do the thing with the stuff. Now, in there, that's where the upgrade for the hangar is. But as cool as it is, and it is cool, um... It's not super useful. It's pretty... Oh dear. It's pretty good against a tyrant. 
like downing him because he doesn't take many hang on uh, bullets. But when you have the burst capability, it chews through ammo at like a crazy rate. Now, obviously, there is a puzzle to do here, but we are out of space, so let's go dump off a load of stuff. Uh, which would be the best one to go to? I think the best one to go to is the waiting room. Let's go to the waiting room. Jiggle our junk around. Because why the fuck not, man? Now, we took the side pack as Claire, which I'm kind of regretting. I wish I'd left that for Leon, just because it does make, like, whoever gets a side pack gets a much, like, easier ride through the game. And, uh, although it is useful to have it, it's actually, you know what, let's, let's drop the shotgun back for now. We're going to keep the magnum with us. We'll enjoy the shotgun later on. Because the Magnum, you get a lot more firepower. It holds eight rounds. Which is like eight dead liquors, essentially. Uh, stick that back there. We're going to hold on to the precinct key. Actually, we could quickly run off and do this bit. Yes. Yes, we could. I see absolutely no reason to not run off and do this. Because the whole point of the precinct for Leon is we have to find the plugs, the chess pieces. And uh, we, we should find them fairly quickly. They're not that hard to find. Again, with everything, especially Resident Evil related, once you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. Like, these games can be a huge pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing. And we all go through that phase. Everybody that plays them for the first time gets lost and yada yada yada. I mean, there'll always be that one person. They'll be like, oh, you never got lost. I found it really easy. Blah, 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 blah. It's like, yeah, sure you did, mate. Everybody gets lost. Everybody spends at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes wandering around the RPD. Maybe longer. Thinking that they're really stuck. I mean, I like. I think the hardest one from a puzzle standpoint is probably Resident Evil Zero. And a lot of Resident Evil Zero's difficulty comes from the fact that there are no uh, item boxes. To this day, I think that's stupid. I hate the fact Resident, Z uh, Resident Evil Zero doesn't have item boxes. It's so irritating. Like, that's all that does, is make that game irritating. But then, Resident Evil Zero is like a very odd Resident Evil game. Like, really odd. It's, uh, yeah, kind of in its own kind of class. So many irritations with that one. Now, don't get me wrong, I like Resident Evil Zero. I, like, overall, let me change my camera. Overall, I think it's a good game, but it just, ah, uh, I don't know. Definitely the black sheep, I would say. Like, even the idea that you've got two characters to swap between, like, I didn't mind that. Like, it was okay. But then they kind of, like, really fucked you over by only having six item slots. Which... Uh... I wasn't a huge fan of that. Well, I technically had 12. She had the two characters, but... There were times where the characters got split up, and... Yeah, it was just annoying. To be honest. But, never mind. Overall, it was still a good game. Massively changed the lore as well. Now, in Resident Evil Zero, like... Wesker was always meant to be the bad guy. They, it was actually quite late on in development that they changed it to... Was this called Marcus? And... Oof, I hate Marcus. I thought he was such a stupid, like, weeabo fucking... Ugh, Japanese... 
like anime enemy, if you will. Just, I didn't like him at all. Considering how cool, like, Wesker is, and then you've got this weird, like, poncy dude dancing around and singing opera, just, yeah. Yeah. Did not like him at all. Right, so now we have two of our four plugs already. We're doing pretty well on the plug front. So, where to next? We've got the diamond key. So let's go downstairs. Oh, we're on 25 minutes. You know, time does fly when you're having fun. It really does. Uh, we could go to the Marvin room. We could do that. Or... Now, let's go to the Marvin room. Probably a good idea. I say probably, because I don't know for an absolute fact. I am by no means whatsoever an expert at this game. But let's go back into here. Ah, it's locked from the other side. Okay. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. In that case, I guess we're going to go... Oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. We can get in there now, so let's go do that. Yeah, we've got to go around the outside, haven't we? Because now we've got this key. We can open the room to the file. Uh, the file room. Right, let's drop that back down. I'm not going to, like, bother developing all the films and stuff, because there's no point. They're all basically, the, well, they're all the same as they were in the A scenario. Alright, let's get the book out of here. It's so weird playing this again. Like, I know a couple of people were worried that when the remake comes out, it's going to make this one totally obsolete. But it hasn't. Like, the remake and this one are still, like, they're still very different. And they're, in my opinion anyway, I think they're both very, very good games. I love them both. The remake and the original. And uh, there's definitely space for both of them. Alright, let's go in through here. I don't think there's any enemies in here on the B scenario. I don't think... No, we're good. Excellent. That's just what I wanted. Now, is there any goodies? Oh, yeah, there's another roll of film. You know what? I'm not even going to take the roll of film. Fuck it. We've already seen all that in the A scenario. Also, that roll of film that you have to search Wesker's desk for 50 times, which is just a picture of uh, Rebecca, is kind of like a weird thing. It's not a very interesting secret. Is there really nothing in here? I thought there was shot. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's not a very interesting secret, to be honest. Like, it doesn't give you any information or any hints or whatever. It's just, like, I suppose it ties the game to the first one a little bit. Now, we can't get the plastic explosives or anything because Claire's already nabbed them. Or Leon would have already nabbed them, uh, depending on who you played first. Alright, you're done. Come on, my son. Move your ass. There we go. We're going to be chewing through our handgun rounds, but hey, that's what they're there for. I guess. Right, let's grab this green herb. Although I don't know how wise that is. Oh, Marvin's not here. I guess that's because Claire killed him already. Alright, let's load up. I do love the way they just throw... Oh, hello. Are you Marvin? You're not Marvin. Finish him off with a shot to the dick. And there's the heart key. Excellent. So we now have all the keys apart from the club key. We don't get the club key till quite a bit later on. 
And here is Leon's desk. Memo to Leon to be filed. Oh, what's that? Oh, a small key. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll have the small key. We can now go upgrade our handgun, actually. Which is not a terrible idea. But if we do upgrade our handgun... Yeah, let's go upgrade the handgun. Uh, if we do go upgrade it, it we're going to lose that, that speed boost. But as a trade-off, we will get the faster firing speed. And I don't know. I don't know what the if it's worth upgrading it. I, mean, I suppose having that that three burst ability is really nice against the tyrant. I want to keep calling him Nemesis, but it's not. It's actually the tyrant. Now, William Birkin actually fights the Nemesis. Uh, if you read the canon, or if you read some of the lore, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm, 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 yeah, we're, we're going to use all this stuff up anyway. So, uh, ooh, I'm going to leave it here, guys. What did we say this video was going to be called? Spider Zombie? Spider Zombie. Yes, I like it. I need to actually keep my notebook next to me, don't I? So, when I have a headache with pictures and I decide a name for the episode, because usually I try and throw a name together uh, pull a name out of my ass, so to speak and sometimes they're weak source because I'm not very creative or imaginative so when I think of something in the video I do like to use that as a title because usually I edit these videos like I don't know, sometimes three or four weeks after I've recorded them, uh, in fact quite often they go up like a month plus after I've recorded them so, I look at a title and I think, hmm, that title's shit. <laughs> and then I try and think of another one for the video and I'm like, oh, it's a pain in the arse. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to upgrade our gun and then we're going to go through the final door and go liquor hunting. Possibly. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. So, till then guys, thanks for watching. Oh,